Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen the example of the lookup transformation and we've used the connected lookup transformation for that. Today we'll be taking a look at another example using the unconnected lookup transformation type. We'll be using the same example where we populated the target with the data from employees table and the corresponding department names of each employee from the lookup department table. So let's move on to the practical example of this that let's open the power center designer to create the mapping for this connect to the repository tra info training using the username administrator and password oracle open the trainings folder and create a new mapping named m underscore employees <coughs> employees underscore lookup underscore uncon okay. drag and drop the source table which is the employees table and also the target employees table which is the employees lookup okay now we need to bring in an expression transformation between these two so let's select an expression transformation and bring it here Populate all the source qualifier columns to the expression transformation. Double click on the transformation and rename it to exp underscore emp. Click OK. Go to the ports tab and add a new port at the end named department underscore name. And set its type exactly the same as department name 25 and so uncheck the input option for it click apply okay now we need to add a lookup transformation so let's select the lookup transformation add it over here and use the source departments table as a lookup table click OK double click on it and rename the transformation to LKP underscore employees underscore and con in the ports section add a new port named department in underscore department ID and set its type and precision and everything exactly as the department ID which is decimal four zero it is supposed to be an input port and also select the R port for the department name in the conditions tab add a new condition which is department ID equal to in department ID click apply ok and now auto link all the columns from the expression transformation to the target table or first in the expression transformation let's go to the ports department name the port that we created edit it expression and scroll down to lookups expand that and select the LKP employees uncon function and between the parentheses write down the uh, column name of department ID there you go validate this expression and click OK click apply OK again <clears throat> now auto link the expression transformation to the target table and there you go all the columns have been loaded to the target now save your work You can see that the lookup transformation is unconnected at the moment. Now, go to the workflow manager to create the session and workflow for this. Create wf underscore employees underscore lookup <coughs> underscore uncon. Click OK. Create a new session for the transformation for the mapping that we just created. Click OK, link the start to the session and edit its properties, rename it, remove the M underscore for the naming convention purposes, select the fail parent if task fails option, in the properties select the right backward compatibility log file, we don't need to set the source target variables here, in the conflict objects select uh, stop on errors as 1 and save target save log files as 5, in the mappings set this is HR this is fine. For target, set the connection value as target, and for the lookup 
Oh, yeah, this has none. A normal and truncate table option as well. For the look approximation, select it as dollar, not dollar source, just HR. That as dollar source won't work for unconnected transformations. Save your work and let's run this uh, workflow. It's running. <clears throat> and there you go. 107 rows have been loaded to the target table. Now, let's move over to the target table and see what the data has been loaded in it. So let's go to the SQL Assistant. Connect to the test one ODBC connection. Log in using the username target and the password target as well. Now, let's select steric from employees underscore lookup maximize this sort it by the department id and there you go department name column has been populated using the unconnected lookup transformation the unconnected lookup transformation is a really important one as you can use it multiple times in a single mapping without creating a new instance for it so, I hope you have a better understanding of the connected and unconnected transformations, their differences, and also the multi-value uh, option that can be used in the lookup transformations. So, in the coming videos, we'll be taking a look at more of the transformations that can be used in Informatica Designer. So, thank you for staying with us. Take care of yourself, and bye-bye.